Hi, welcome, bienvenidos, it's your girl Yessi, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be playing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novu palette. So it's this baby right here. So I'm just going to be creating a look. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Alrighty, girlies. So like I said in my introduction, I want to... Uh, create a look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novu palette. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. You know, it has this sage green. In the back, it tells you the ingredients. In the eyeshadows, it tells, it gives you um, the color palette right here. Um, this is a this has a 12 month shelf life it, it is cruelty free and this is an all-in-one palette for instant effortless looks from on the go to ultra glam okay we like that and let's see this is the palette right here how pretty is this I love the gold detailing and it has a little thing right here it also has the gold detailing on the sides of the palette. Love this sage green mixed with the gold. Beautiful. In the back, it doesn't have the names, but it does have, um, you know, description of the palette. Um, and if you haven't seen the palette, this is what it looks like right here. You can see very pretty colors. I think all year round, but mostly for summer, fall. So today I want to use that purple, that lavender purple called Wisteria. I'm so intrigued to use that color, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, and most likely I'm going to pair it with um Fleur Metro you know I think those two colors will look very nice together so why don't we just get started so I've already done my eyebrows per usual I lined them with the Anastasia brow wiz and then I filled them in with my dual powder so this is what I have on my eyebrows um, I also primed the lids with the MAC Paint Pop in Soft Ochre. And then I lightly set that with my translucent powder. So that's all I have going on so far. So yeah, now I'm going to jump in with the palette. So first things first. I'm going to grab my big Juvia's Place shader brush, which is this one right here. And I'm going to grab the color Paloma, which is this color right here. And I'm going to use that for, oh, it's pretty pigmented. Look at that. Just one tap. But I'm going to use that color Paloma and apply it on my brow bone. And I do that so it gives me the um, the arched effect. I, and I'm putting that all lightly all over my lid, but mostly on the arch of my eyebrow. If you're not into that, you can de most definitely skip this step. I like it. So, alrighty. Now I'm going to grab a blending brush and I'm going to grab the color. So I'm going to grab a Sedona Lace EB15 and this is a more precise blending brush, very small. And I'm going to use this for the inner part because we're going to start from the inner part and work our way to the back okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the color Wisteria which is that 
lavender purple and I'm gonna apply that in the inner part and stopping halfway so okay so I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna build the color up all right so now I'm going to grab the color. I'm actually going to grab a blending brush. I'm going to grab this Morphe R37 blending brush. It's just very fluffy. And I'm going to grab the color Fleur, which is this color right here. And I'm going to apply that because I want to see how dark it is. I'm going to apply this to the outer part of my crease, so right here. And I'm just going to build that color and blend it into that purple. Okay, so it should look something like that. Um, now I'm going to grab the Sedona Lace EB15, the one we use for the color purple. I'm just going to go back over it to help blend with that orange. Okay, with that same blending brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of Metro, which is the darker orange right here. And I'm just going to apply this to the, in, to the outer part of the lid. And I'm going to bring it into the crease a little bit. Okay. Alright, so that's what those colors look like. Um, now I'm going to let's see all right so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply glitter glue to my lid I'm going to use uh, the Pat McGrath labs intensifier artistry wand I'm gonna use this um, in the empty space on my lid I'm not going to cut my crease either. I'm just going to use this to apply the shimmer. Alright, I'm going to grab my shader brush. It's a flat shader brush. I'm going to grab the color... I'm going to grab the color Islow, Isley, Easley is this shimmer right here Isley easily I'm not sure how you pronounce that but I'm gonna grab that with my shader brush and I'm just gonna apply that to this inner part right here Okay, that might be a little bit too yellow for me, so I might grab the color Lily, which is this shimmer right here. Yeah, I might grab Lily, put it over the other, it might be too gold. Oh yeah, this is better. This is like a rose gold color. Which I feel looks better over this yellow. It's like a, a, I don't know, I can't describe the color. But, it's like a gold with an orange reflex. That's what it's coming up in my eye. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the blending brush. We use the purple with Steria. And I'm just going to go over the edges over here to make sure it blends in with that shimmer we used. Like so. Then we're going to grab our blending brush that we used the orange. And we're just gonna blend these edges and this corner right here with no additional product 
Okay, so it should look something like this. So now I am going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am done with the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna jump off camera again. I'm going to um, I'm gonna do a liner, maybe some lashes, and then finish the complexion, and then I'll come back so you can see the final result. So hang tight. Alrighty, girlies. So this is the final look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novu palette which is this baby right here so you guys have to let me know what do you guys think but yeah this is these are the details what do you guys think i really love this pop of purple yeah <laughs> you, you you already know okay <laughs> I don't have to say much but I love this purple I love the mixture with the orange I think they complement each other very well um, and this pop of purple is so like perfect for this summer look <laughs> for a summer look for a summer pop of color so yeah I really love I really love how this look turned out um, I'm definitely gonna keep using it um, let's see also I added this purple on the waterline um this is from the la girl shockwave neon eyeliner and this is in the color vivid i just thought it looked nice with um you know the pop of purple so you know i've been using these so with like basically all my pops of color i just think it adds like a a good addition to the look it just vamps it up a little bit <laughs> but yeah and yeah the details to the rest of my face are going to be down in the description box so yeah that's all for me today i enjoyed the palette um if you do have this palette and you recreate this look tag me on instagram i want to see um but yeah that's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>